This is a quick tutorial of how to set up Prime Hack to play the Metroid Prime Trilogy on Android. Step 1, download and install the APK, link in the description. Step 2, point Prime Hack to the location of your Trilogy ROM file. You will need to provide this yourself. Step 3, connect and start mapping your controller. I am using an 8-bit DOE Ultimate controller that reads as a Switch Pro controller in Bluetooth mode. Map the buttons to your preference, there is a more detailed look at my preferred control scheme in the description. Leave the motion controls, but you do need to map a shape control to an unused button for Gandreda's fight. Don't forget to map the nunchuck buttons, and the stick is mapped for your primary movement control stick. Now we need to get the custom pointer controls built for Prime Hack to work. To do this we need simple text editor app, link in the description. Click the three dots top right, then open, then three lines top left, scroll to Prime Hack and open, open config folder, scroll down to remote.ini and open, and you should see your controller name and the controls you already mapped in Prime Hack. Here is a look at what mine looks like for the Switch Pro controller after setup. This file is also in my drive with the APK for reference. Here highlighted are the five camera control lines you need to add for the custom Prime Hack pointer controls, this is the only way to get them working on Android. If you are using a different controller your access labels will be different, you can check them by trying to map your right stick in Prime Hack and seeing what it shows as the label for your controller. And, you're done, the game should work now. It only runs with the OpenGL backend, not Vulkan, and I'm still trying to figure out best settings for my Galaxy Flip 6 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But the pointer controls work in all games, you can verify this is working correctly if the right stick moves the cursor on the Trilogy main menu. This is running at 2 times native resolution. Prime Hack is definitely the best way to experience the second and third games of the series right now, so it's awesome to have an Android option available. Performance is pretty good, some shader stutter to be expected but I think it is very playable. Prime Hack's built-in workarounds for the motion controls via stick all work thanks to our edit, it's either aim like a pointer with the right stick or hold up on the left stick to complete for each. And that is all there is to it. Thank you for watching, enjoy Prime Hack on Android before Metroid Prime 4 launches later this year. Comment with the settings that best work for your device, or access labels for your controller to help others.